now available in paperback. From the author of the critically acclaimed book, The Man Crisis, comes The Woman Crisis. Learn why so many women have become lost in their quest to have it all in The Woman Crisis. Get your copy of The Woman Crisis in paperback at Amazon.com and online booksellers today. One of my viewers wanted me to do another installment in the Historical Women in Crisis series. And for this installment in the Historical Women in Crisis series, I'm going to be talking about feminist leader Gloria Steinem. Now, your Gloria Steinem became one of the leading voices of the feminist movement of the late 1960s and 1970s. However, she was well on the road to becoming a woman in crisis as far back as the day she was born in 1934. Now, your Gloria Steinem was the youngest of two daughters and her mother was a journalist, but her father was an entrepreneur who was not very successful, and he wasn't very successful because he was one of these beta males who really did not know how to lead his family or set a direction and a tone for where he wanted to go in his business or his household. And as a result of your Gloria Steinem's father not being able to go out here and set a direction and a tone for where he wanted to go in life, his wife and his daughters really did not respect him as a man, and because they did not respect him as a man, they doubted his ability to go out here and lead his family, and the mother thought that she had to go out here and take over and do things that he was supposed to do, Moreover, the daughter, Gloria Steinem, also had doubts in her father's leadership, and this is the core foundation for your Gloria Steinem heading down the road to becoming a woman in crisis. Because when a daughter and a wife do not see a man and have confidence in his ability to lead, this means that the, both the partners, the daughter and the mother, do not respect him and do not respect his authority. And that's because the man does not assert his authority or set order over his household. And as a result, many of the women there learn not to respect the boundaries of leadership or chain of command. And that's what happened in the household of Gloria Steinem, where she saw her mother stepping over the father and feeling doubtful about the family's financial situation and seeing her mother not being able to get her needs met by her father this is what led to her learning to not have faith in a man to go out here and be a head of household and your Gloria Steinem's mother eventually had a nervous breakdown because this beta male just could not lead the family. He could not set a direction for the family. He could not set order for the family. And he could not set a course for a successful business. And because he couldn't do these things, Steinem's mother wound up divorcing her father and moved to California, leaving them to take care of their mother, laying the foundation for dysfunction that many feminists wind up having today because they followed the same dysfunctional paradigm established by Gloria Steinem's mother and that Gloria Steinem saw as her model for relationships. And while she sits there and says that she never faulted her father for his decisions, she, it was his dysfunction and his inability to lead that led to her believing that, oh, a man should not be leading the household and that a woman needs to go out here and overcompensate and cover for it. Now, as a teenager, your Gloria Steinem moved to Washington, D.C. with her older sister and graduated from high school there, then went on to a all-women's college which are for liberal arts and really got upset when this college really didn't have any sort of feminist books and what did not really prepare them for the world. Now, your Gloria Steinem, as I see it, really didn't understand what college was all about. College was never a place to prepare you for the world. No, the job of preparing you for the world is the, your mother's and your father's, and that's another core point of her dysfunction. She's sitting there thinking college is supposed to prepare you for the world, 
And that's a lie that many feminists go out here and tell people, oh, the college is going to prepare you for the world. No, your mother te prepares you for the world by teaching you female life skills and female survival skills. That's who prepares a woman for the world. Meanwhile, a man nurtures his daughter and provides for her emotional needs and gives her the masculine energy that allows her to be emotionally secure. Unfortunately, since your glorious Steinem grew up in a dysfunctional household with a beta male father who did not lead, this made her mother insecure and doubtful and led to her having a nervous breakdown. And as the mother had a nervous breakdown, she wasn't able to teach her daughter the female life skills and survival skills. And as a result, your glorious Steinem grew up thinking that she needed to take the leadership role of a man because the man who was her father did not go out here and meet her needs. Now, as she was going to college, she was upset that the colleges didn't prepare them for the world, not understanding that a college's job is to teach you the skills as related to the major. And when you take something like liberal arts, there is no focus because liberal arts is just all about you passing classes in order to meet the credentials for a liberal arts degree, which is very open. So your Gloria Steinem came in on a foundation of dysfunction. And as she came in on this foundation of dysfunction, she sat there thinking, oh, college is supposed to prepare you for the world. But no, a college degree just means that you have learned the basics as related to meeting credentials for getting that degree. It does not mean that you have actual marketable skills like something like a mechanic or a welder has or, an, or a doctor or a lawyer. It's just a basic foundation. And your Steinem also went on talking about how the working world was very conservative and saying that people were trying to get women out of the paid labor force and into the suburbs. And that's another lie that your Gloria Steinem was telling as related to her dysfunction. No, when it came down to the world of work, yes, women came into the world of work during World War II, but many wanted to go back to the home because they wanted to go out here and take care of their husbands and they wanted to take care of their children and they wanted to go back because they wanted the men to go out here and provide for them however a dysfunctional woman like a Gloria Steinem needed to be a part of the working world and she needed to be a part of the working world because she did not know how to have a relationship with a man due to the dysfunctional foundation she learned growing up and again She's sitting there talking about how your men were trying to remove women from the job. No, many women were going back home. And at the women that stayed, they were already fighting for the civil, the, the women's rights movement it, it, earlier as the um, days of World War II as they entered the workforce. And what they were fighting was for tangible policies to protect their rights in the workplace. Your Gloria Steinem won't talk about that because she was trying to revise history, but as someone who has done the research on the history, many women were fighting for women's rights in the workplace, and this is why we got the Equal Pay Act of 1963, and we got other policies under Title VIII or Title IX of the Civil Rights Law of 1964, such as protecting a woman from sexual harassment and sexual assault in the workplace. These were policies that women fought for before the feminist movement, but your Gloria Steinem, wanting to push a narrative, wanted to go out here and make it look like she was this big-time feminist, but she wasn't at all, no. Your, your Gloria Steinem's activism came from her experience in India in the 1950s, where she was out here traveling, talking about land reforms in India, and had no interest in women's rights at all. So she's basically been dysfunctional from the beginning, and as she came back to America, she then went out here and worked for the CIA, and worked to um, undermine American students uh, work with American students to destroy youth festivals, which were propaganda events for the so for the Soviet Union. So your your Gloria Steinem was working covertly with the CIA, and as she was working with the CIA, she 
possibly was working with them extensively, and she also did some undercover work at play at the Playboy Club, talking about sexism and misandry that went on at these clubs, not understanding that if you go to these clubs, you know what the deal is because this is a so-called gentleman's club. So she wanted she went there undercover and then went on to become to make this story a bunny's tale, talking about misogyny. And it made it gave her some credibility as a journalist, and that's where she started building her platform for her feminist agenda. Now, your Gloria Steinem worked for numerous publications such as the New York Times, Cosmopolitan, and then had a column at then New York Magazine. So she was the original Carrie Bedsore, I mean Carrie Bradshaw, from who inspired possibly the Sex in a City character. And with those credibility, with those um journalist credentials. She then became a part of New York's influential media circles and then started pushing the feminist movement and, and with, with other women like Dorothy Pittman Hughes. And this is where your, your Gloria Steinem, as I see it, is completely full of it because she sat there and talked about how your Dorothy Pittman Hughes um, was, was helping her with her shyness. But if she was so shy and so afraid of public speaking, then how could she go out here and be in all of these other activist movements like she was in India and working for the CIA where she needed to have a voice. I mean, this is where I see the complete, your Gloria Steinem being completely full of it, but her whole push of this feminist agenda was one of the things that not only led to her bringing her dysfunction to a national stage, it led to multiple generations of women winding up, winding up in crisis. Now your Gloria Steinem as she was pushing this whole women's liberation movement, she was sitting there talking about how men were oppressing women and how were men oppressing women when we already had an Equal Pay Act of 1963. We had numerous Title um, Seven and Eight laws as related to federal law. I mean, the laws were already in place, but she was pushing a narrative and she basically was pushing a narrative because she wanted to go out here and one, sell magazines like her, the Ms. Magazine that she founded, which basically derailed the entire Wonder Woman character um, because it was the Diana Prince run was doing very well, but she also was pushing all of these whole feminist movements and trying to push an Equal Rights Act into the Constitution. Now, had your Gloria Steinem managed to push this Equal Rights Act into becoming a constitutional amendment, it would have basically made it where men and women would have been actual equals and women would have been going out here and drafted into the military and other policies put into place. However, conservative women pushed back and managed to keep that constitutional amendment from being ratified. And your Gloria Steinem also had feuds with other feminists like your Betty Friedan, who was also another woman in crisis. But that's another video because she was the one talking about how women were in a malaise by being brought back to the home when women weren't being brought, weren't in a malaise. No, they were just spoiled and they were upset about the fact that they had to go out here and take responsibility for the home. And that's where we have your Gloria Steinem. Again, she wanted women to be more like men. And sadly, many black women with the with your Dorothy Pittman Hughes bought into her rhetoric and they wound up acting like the masculine women. But your Gloria Steinem is basically the one who led to the entire nation of American women winding up in crisis because many American women thought, oh, men are oppressing us, men are making us second class, when a women's rights movement was already working to create tangible equal um, things as related to the job market and the workplace. But your Gloria Steinem, she wound up creating the seeds of dysfunction that did damage to the overall country. It is your Gloria Steinem's feminism that led to many women winding up on a road to sexual promiscuity because she promoted abortion and and pushed all sorts of other sexual promiscuity. She promoted, you know, all sorts of women going out here and fighting against men and seeing men as adversaries and enemies instead of seeing themselves as partners under God's order. Your Gloria Steinem was the instigator of all of this 
And all of this is due to the fact that she came from dysfunction. And because she came from dysfunction, she believed dysfunction was normal and promoted dysfunction as something normal and socially acceptable for most American women to participate in. Because as your glorious Dynam laid the seeds for the dysfunction we see today by talking about men oppressing women, women not being treated well, she out here and promoted sexual promiscuity as a social norm. This led to the seeds of what we see today with your what people call the masculine aggressive woman, the argumentative loud woman, and this was the model that Gloria Steinem promoted in much of her life, and she also promoted the whole prom idea that children could be taken care of by daycare providers instead of their mothers who could go out here and work. And this is what created the children of the corn we see today, those children of the corn who basically grew up like stalks because they had no mother in the home to nurture them. They had no father in the home to provide them with discipline and order. And as this was going on, the media was teaching your children to be consumers. And this was all due to your glorious sign on pushing the feminist movement. And because this one woman in crisis became into a leadership role, it created chaos across the country, which led to not only your Gloria Steinem becoming a woman in crisis, but led to the entire nation of America becoming men and women in crisis. Now, this was a video requested by one of my viewers, and if you want to request a video about a man or a woman in crisis, you can send a donation to the Cash App, and if I know something about that person, I will make that video talking about that man or woman in crisis. And if you want to learn why so many American women and women all over the world are in crisis and dysfunctional like Gloria Steinem, you can pick up my book, The Woman Crisis, on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also pick up The Woman Crisis at other online booksellers like Smashwords, the iBookstore, Barnes & Noble, Google Play, and Walmart. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available for the first time in paperback, why 70% of black women are single. Learn all the reasons why so many black women can't find a husband, why 70% of black women are single. Get your copy of why 70% of black women are single on Amazon.com today.